Hello. This video guide will provide a walkthrough for installing FreeBSD on Oracle's VirtualBox. This guide is intended for both macOS and Windows users. First, determine if the host computer has a 32-bit or a 64-bit processor. On Windows, navigate to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Next, click on System. Scroll down to the About section and find where the system type is specified. This host is running a 64-bit processor. For Mac OS, open the Apple menu, select About this Mac, and look next to the processor to find the model. This can be found under the Overview tab. Once you have this information, run a web search for the processor model to find if it is 32 or 64-bit. Visit the VirtualBox website, link provided below as well as in the video description and select the Platform Package Binary. VirtualBox is available on Windows, macOS, Linux, and Solaris. Opening the downloaded file will start the installation process. Next, visit the official FreeBSD releases page, link also provided below. The disk images are listed in order of release date, so the most recent release can be found at the top of the page. For 64-bit machines, click AMD64, for 32-bit machines, click on I386. Make sure to select the installer image, not the virtual machine image. This will lead to a file directory containing multiple formats of the FreeBSD disk image. Look for the image ending with disk1.iso. Selecting it will start the download. Open the VirtualBox application that was installed during the previous steps and select New in the toolbar. Name the virtual disk image and select BSD and FreeBSD from the two drop down menus. Continue. Using the default settings here is recommended, so just continue through the next five steps. For file location and size, however, check that at least 15 GB is being allocated for the virtual hard disk. This can be adjusted with a slider. Create the disk and select Start from the toolbar. The virtual hard disk requires a disk image to load. Either use the file navigator to find the FreeBSD image that was installed earlier, or find it in the drop-down menu. Continue. This will start the FreeBSD boot process. The FreeBSD installer will automatically start after the system boots. Let's skip forward to that. The arrow keys allow you to choose options while enter selects. This walkthrough will use all the default options, and it is recommended for first-time users to do the same. The installer will ask you to choose a hostname for the computer. This one will simply be host. Continue through these next steps using the default options. When asked, commit the setup and wait for FreeBSD to fetch and extract. This may take some time. Once this process is done, a password will need to be chosen for the system. And it is important to note that while password text will not appear in the terminal, it is still being entered. Continue to choose the default options while setting up network configuration. The installer will now ask for a region and the time zone. It will ask you to confirm the abbreviation. Use the default option through the next few steps up to and including when it asks to add a new user. Select Yes. Choose a username, this will be guessed, and a full name. Leaving a row empty and hitting Enter will select the default option listed in brackets, like so. When it asks for other groups, 
add the user to the wheel group. Use the next few default options until it asks for a password. Enter a new password for this user account. Type yes and enter to confirm and create the user account. You can now add more users or type no to continue. Exit. Choose no on manual configuration. and then reboot the system. The FreeBSD installer is now finished and will reboot into a live version of the FreeBSD operating system. Exit the FreeBSD instance, choose to power off the machine, and then select OK. Next, right-click the FreeBSD disk image on the left, select Settings, and then choose Storage in the toolbar. Two disk images will be listed, the first one created by VirtualBox and the other downloaded from the FreeBSD website. Right-click the latter with the disk image and select Remove Attachment. Removing this will ensure that the FreeBSD installer does not try to run again on boot. Click OK. And then start another FreeBSD instance with the Start button. Log in with the user account and password that were created earlier, and the installation process is complete. VirtualBox comes with audio and graphic drivers that FreeBSD may have trouble identifying. These will first need to be configured. This can be done simply by editing the system configuration file. First, use the su command to emulate the root user. It will ask for the system password. Next, the VirtualBox additions package will need to be installed. Enter this following command, package install emulators slash virtualbox dash ose dash additions. Type Y and enter when prompted. Next, open up the EE text editor with the command ee space slash etc slash rc dot conf. Use the down arrows to navigate to the bottom of the file and add the following two lines of text. vbox guest underscore enable equals yes. and vbox service underscore enable equals yes. Hit escape to access the main menu, enter to leave the editor, and enter again to save the changes. Congratulations, you are now ready to start using your FreeBSD system